anybody here? Are you still open? More or less. It was raining so hard I could barely see your place from the highway. It's a bad storm. I started to fall asleep while I was There's driving. No coffee. On account of the storm knocking power out. I don't drink coffee. I have a weak bladder. Well, there's really not much in the way of food either. Do you mind if I just sit and rest a while? Suit yourself. Where'd all this stuff come from? So that we found. So that was given to us. Most of it's just junk. It must be interesting. Living in a place like this. Yeah, you've seen one roadside attraction, you've seen them all. These are just things to bring the tourists. You wouldn't want to live here. Believe me. I don't know. I think there's something special about living in the desert. There is nothing special about the desert. There's mystery in it. When I was driving, I could see it in the land, in the shapes and in the colors. I could smell it in the air, and I could hear it in the sound the wind was making. I can't explain it, but it was a feeling, like I'd been here before. Like I was coming home after being away for a long time. I'm making you nervous, aren't I? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. I always do that when I meet new people. I get nervous and then I say things that don't make sense. I wouldn't worry about it. It'll pass. Where are you from anyway? Albuquerque. And what do you do down in Albuquerque? I'm married. My husband's a minister. I went out with a preacher once. He was Baptist, I think. My husband's an apostle of divine light. Ooh, never heard of them. It's a very small church. Is this thing real? Couldn't advertise it if it wasn't. It has a, it has a strange smell about it. Hey, you, you always been in Albuquerque? Mostly. Is that where your family from? I never had a family. Everybody's got a family. I grew up in an orphanage. What, no brothers or sisters? None that I know of. I'm gonna get you a drink. I don't drink. Storms like this put me right on the edge, too. I think it's mainly the lightning. You know, I saw this picture once in a magazine. A cowboy out riding his horse. Lightning bolt fried him. Right in the saddle. Oh, look at that. Some poor fool's out there working after all. Come on, drink up. Calm your nerves. Oh. I'm not nervous anymore. I just think that I need someone to talk to. Sure as hell know what you mean about that. I swear, some of these nights it is so damn lonely out here, I just wanna scream. It's probably none of my business. But I think you made a mistake. And how's that? You should be closer to the road. I could barely see your place from the highway. Yeah, when my folks built this place, that interstate was nothing but sand. And that black type out there, well, that was old 66, the most famous highway in America. They say back then it was jammed with 
He saw rags and greyhounds, college students, tourists, Indians, all rubbing shoulders and bending bumpers together. Man, it must have been hopping. Now, Jesse, it's my brother. He wants to sell the place and grow sugar beet seeds. Do you, do you know anything about that? I've eaten sunflower seeds, but I've never had a sugar beet seed. But you don't eat them. You grow them to seed. Why would you do that? For the seeds. Oh. Well, what do you use the seed for? Oh, Jesus. Okay, you plant them so then you can grow them and get sugar beets. Where the hell do you think the seeds come from? Huh? You think they just fall down from the sky? Never really thought about it. Yeah, well, it's a good money crop. Pay for my imaginary bus fare. You what? My dream. You know to get out of this shithole? See, I have this idea. Getting all dressed up. You know, like those girls that you see in TV shows? Get my hair all done. Fancy dress and brand new pair of shoes. Leather ones. Blue suede. Robin egg blue. I like robin egg blue. Yeah. You see, I, I'd use my old suitcase, right? Except it would be filled with money. My share of the profit. You know, and, uh, well, I'd say so long to all good memories of this place which take about a second and then I'd go down to Winslow Boss Depot and buy myself a ticket and where would you go? I'd go to California you know I'd live right by that big ocean that I've heard so much about <laughs> you know? sure you can do anything you want in a dream Thank you. I knew that. Are you gonna plant a crop this year? Not likely. When are you gonna plant it? Never. Why not? We ain't got the money for the goddamn land. What about selling the cafe, like you said? No one would pay a lousy nickel for this place. What about some kind of a loan? Nobody is that stupid. I'd loan it to you. Yeah. You probably would. Besides, it's all just a dream anyway. Lent would never sell this place, not in a million years. Who's Lent? My mother. Letitia May. Oh. But if your business is so bad, why wouldn't she want to leave? It's where the armadillo wants her to live. The what? The armadillo. <gasps> no joke. You know, some people believe in their rabbit's feet or their silver dollar. It hurts that damn armadillo. Like a good luck charm. Oh. More like one of them psychic things. You gotta understand something about Let. She comes from a long line of Texas dirt farmers and they ain't normal like you and me. Hell, when she was 16, she was working in this diner up in Farwell, and that's when she met him, my father. He was a feed salesman from Clovis, and when she ran off with him, everyone, they just couldn't believe it. <laughs> First night out, she did give up the goods in the back seat. And when she went down by the side of the road, you know, to freshen up, that's when she found the armadillo. Was it alive? Barely. <laughs> she even wrapped the thing in her wedding dress just to keep it warm. And then she made him stop all on the highway to catch beetle bugs, you know, to feed it. Next day, they landed in 
gallop, and while he was out hovering over a cold beer in some bar, that armadillo, it just started puking its guts out, and it rolled up like a tater bug, and all wet. <laughs> she caused such a commotion back at the hotel, they politely asked her to hit the road. And they ended up here. Still sleeping in the car the next morning. Right about then is when the armadillo, well, it just snapped right out of whatever it was ailing it. <sighs> Straightened out. Let took that as a good omen. I mean, she decided that this is where the armadillo wanted her to live. How strange. Have you ever seen an armadillo before? Just in pictures. That critter? It was our bread and butter for quite some time. <laughs> it was just like one of the family into it. Until what? God damn, it's wet out. These scars out front. You got some gall. Seems to me like we had a date last night, and it seems to me like I got stood up. No, it's your luck always, right on time. Oh, that's a damn lie. And it's not a damn lie. I was here. I was here all night. The hell you were. Oh. Are you calling me a liar now? I'm saying I was here too, just like always. I never saw you. Maybe that's because you were having a drink with Melvin Tillis at the wigwam last night. Oh, and who told you that? Your mother, that's who. What? Uh-uh. Let was here all night long. No, when I damn near run her down on the highway, she jumped into my headlights like a jackrabbit. Mm. Good thing I know how to handle the cruiser. You'd still be picking her out of the grill. Yeah, and what was Let doing on the highway? Who the hell cares? All I know is she told me you were with Tillis. Damn her. I wasn't. I was here. I was here. You weren't with Tillis last night? I would not be caught dead with Melvin Tillis. You mean to tell me you were here all night waiting for me? I mean, I finally went to bed once the sun came up. Goddamn that crazy old Texas dirt farmer. I told you you shouldn't listen to her. I told you that a million times. I couldn't help it. I got all twisted up inside. My mind went crazy when I heard about you and Tillis. I just took my broken heart and drove it home. It was pounding so hard when I crawled into the bed. You could almost hear it. Um, I hope it didn't wake your wife. Oh, come on, Billy. You know she no, didn't. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear you say it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I had a customer. I can see there. Uh, honey, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. This is Temple. He's the sheriff. Deputy sheriff. Temp. Relax. She's not even from around here. Do you want some coffee? You certainly look like you can use some. Sure. I have a little eye open over there. Huh? Mm -hmm. Do you want some, honey? What? Coffee. Do you want some? It's probably hot by now. No. Oh, that's right. I forgot about your whole bladder thing. How long is your electricity out? Mm, I don't know. Maybe like an hour or something like that. I'm passing county trucks working on the lines near Joseph City. The big one coming off the res was down. Sparks bees my fist shooting all across the highway. Bad storm. The old Hopi hangs out around Rio's station. Said he saw a worse one in 92, but I don't remember it. That's your car out front, Miss. What? That's your car. One with Nevada plates. Nevada? Yes, it is. Why? You on vacation? <laughs> Business? It was personal matter. Family. Hmm. I thought you told me you didn't have any family. I have an aunt. What's her name? Name? Name. Mine's Billy, yours is Sarah. What's her name? 
It's Anna. Albuquerque Anna. What the hell does that mean? Whatever I want to mean. You're getting more like lit every lit day. Lit has nothing to do with this. Look, all I'm at was... I know what you, you mean. I really should be going. I ain't going nowhere. Why not? There's flash flood warnings up everywhere. Maybe in a couple hours if the rain lets up. Till then, you'll be safer to stay here. All right, Billy? What? I said this young lady will be safe here till the rain lets up, won't she? Sure. You can get Billy to fix you something hot to eat. Where are your brothers? I didn't see their lights on in their place round back. They're out. Oh, where? Why well, to let? And Jesse? Who the hell knows? If it wouldn't be too much trouble, do you mind if I use your restroom? Down the hallway. First door on your right. Nice meeting you, miss. Nice meeting you, Sheriff. Deputy Sheriff. You know what I'm talking about? There ain't gonna be any trouble. Your brothers get back before she's gone. You make damn sure nothing happens. There will be no trouble. It wasn't even their fault the last time. So you wanna get off work? If you want. I'll honk my horn. I'll be listening. Maybe I'll even flash my red lights and give you a real treat. Well, and you do know how I like when you flash your red light. Drives your mother crazy. That is crazy. Hey, Tim. Listen, what I said earlier, you know about your wife? Forget it. Huh. I promised you that I wouldn't say anything and I won't. You hungry? Not really. Because if you are hungry, I can fix you something to eat. If it's a bother, it's no bother. What do you want? What do you recommend? It's all right there in the menu. Turkey sandwich looks good. We're all out of that. What about chicken fried steak? We are all out of that too. What do you recommend? Cornbread. Lions, too. I'll have that. Now, we got two kinds. We got lamb and beef. What do you want? Lamb. Oh. <laughs> We're out of lamb. Why are you doing this? Doing what? You're trying to aggravate me. Oh, that's just you being paranoid. 
I'm not paranoid. Says you. I don't understand you. One minute we're having a pleasant conversation about your family. You just forget when I told you about my family. It's none of your goddamn business. I know you think I lied to you. I don't want to hear it. Whatever your problem is, it's yours, and don't bring it in here with your lies. Understood? You said you were going to be here a couple days ago. Thank you. Yeah. Who's that? It's a customer. What's she doing here? She's eating supper. What's she eating? Why the hell do you care what she's eating? I don't like her looks. Well, so what? She looks like a Mormon. If she's a missionary, I will not do business here tonight. She's not. How do you know? Trust me. Is this the aisle? Did I say I'd get you an aisle? You did. Come on. And that's what it must be. What do we agree on? 50. 50? It's a steal at 50. <laughs> That's bullshit, Jackie, and you know it. You told me you would stuff and mount for 25. When did I say that? A week ago, Friday. And where was I? Your ass was sitting on that very same stool. I must have been drunk. You know how us Indians get when we drink. You're not Indian, Jackie. You're from Mississippi. My father is. Red House? He's your stepfather. My mama is part Ute. Uh-huh, and if she had a nosebleed, she'd lose every drop of Indian blood in her. Now, you want this on your credit? Cash. That's got a neat way of forgetting when it comes to my credit. I cannot wait for Lynn to see this. She's already seen it. What do you mean she's already seen it? I showed it to her and wife a little while ago. And where'd you see them? At the wigwam. What were they doing at the wigwam? Drinking mostly. Damn it. She promised me she was going to the movies. I have to go get him. You need to give me a lift. I can't. I gotta pick up Tito in 20 minutes. We're driving to Phoenix to see Marilyn Manson. I'm gonna be 30 minutes. Well, I can't wait half an hour. What the hell do you want me to do? They got the truck? God knows where Jesse might be. I could drive you in my car. <laughs> sure. They just love to meet you. No. Why not? I don't mind. Really, I, I don't. Because? Because I promised Temp that I would keep you here until the rain let up. You know, when I left the wigwam, your mother was asking all around if your father had been in tonight. Okay. Damn it. I can't leave here with nobody to look after the place, so why don't you stay here for me and let me use your car for a bit? Well... I swear. Okay, I won't bring it back any worse for the wear. You promise you'll be careful? I promise. Look, if you want um, more stew, it's back there on the stove. Okay, and if anyone comes by, you just tell them we're closed. If you want anything else at all, it's yours on the house. Uh, that goes for you, not her. She wants something. She pays for it. Okay. What you eating? Beef stew. Would you like some? Not hungry. It's really good. Meat tastes different. It has a sweet flavor to it. Yeah, well, it's not beef. It's go for meat. Nobody can tell the difference. Except when it starts to go bad. Then it tastes sweet. You're making this up, aren't you? I hate missionaries. They are all over the place around here, multiplying like rabbits. Not a missionary. 
Well, what are you then? Um, just tourist. Pilgrim of the highway, is it? Vacation time, money to burn. What brings you here, tourist? A souvenir of the natives, picture postcard for some envious devil left behind in the office. Maybe some refuge from the storm. Some mystical answers from the Oracle of the Desert. The late great roadside attraction. Is that thing really real? Shit, yeah, it's really real. Bad turn of luck. The nature of the desert fashioned this monstrosity. Where'd they get it? My father Redhouse found it when he was hunting after some floods. The fucking town you think it's an old cow hand disappeared off a nearby ranch. Other people say it's a prospector ran out of dreams one day. There is no place like the desert. It'll let you live off it for a while, and then one day it just severs the friendship and swallows you up whole. What are you looking for, tourist? Nothing. I just stopped to rest. You won't get any rest here. This is a strange house. You can see it in their eyes, the way they look at you. It's in their blood. Trouble follows them around like a stray dog. What kind of trouble? The worst kind. You don't believe me, do you? It's just gonna make it all the more interesting for you in the long run. If you're looking to frighten me, it's not working. This place, it's a burial ground. Only the people who live here, they don't know they're dead yet. You got off real easy with Billy. Take my advice. Do not wait for the others to come home. Cooking is done. And I eat alone. I don't know what you expect to find. But this isn't any kind of place to satisfy hunger. If I were you, I'd get out of here first chance I got. Mars?
false move. And I'll put your brains in orbit. And you just move on over there and set your ass in that chair. make it real tight. Well, don't squeeze the life out of her, but I don't want her popping no surprises on us. She won't go no there. All right, I took you. Four eight regionals, two years in a row. I would have made it all the way to state finals. Said that wouldn't let go to Phoenix. Everybody said I would have won it, though. Shut up. Well, they did. What the hell is going on in my house? I wasn't doing anything. I was just waiting. She was waiting. I heard her. Don't you take that tone of voice with me. And stop eating that shit. It'll rot your teeth. If you want to eat something, eat some jerky. But jerky makes my gums bleed. I've told you a million times that nobody likes a whiner. Waiting for what? My car. Your car? Where's your car? I lent it to Billy. Who? Billy, the, the woman who works here, your daughter. She's no kin to me. It's two. He's not. It's two. He's not. Like mother, like daughter. That's what Jesse always said. Don't you ever say that again. If I had known what she was going to be, I'd never have had her. I would have never had any of you. M maybe so, but it's too late now. Why don't you go make some hot tea? Don't want no tea. It's not for you. It's for me. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, could you untie me? Not till I get to the bottom of this. Please, please. These ropes are cutting off my circulation. Well, if you wouldn't squirm like a gopher in a trap, you'd be fine. And where are you off to? Check the house. Speak up. How am I supposed to hear you if you mumble all the time? I I'm going to check the hives. Now, boy should not raise his voice in anger. I, I did. You know, I can take a lot of things, but this kind of disrespect for my own flesh and blood, I will not tolerate. <laughs> you got it all wrong. No, I don't got it wrong. You was yelling right to my face. He was purposely yelling at me. I don't think he meant any disrespect. Well, ain't that something? <laughs> Where do you get off telling me what you think he meant? And who the hell asked you anyway? Come on, Nat. You I didn't do nothing. Like just... some dumb country hick. But I got your number, sure enough. I don't know what you're talking about. You do not fool me for one second. I can see what's going on in there. The way you've been eyeballing that boy. There you sit, the perfect picture of innocence, hiding like a viper in paradise, waiting, <laughs> waiting for that perfect moment of temptation, waiting till I'm long gone and he can be all yours. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, God knows it's not your fault. It's just the sin of paradise. It's the weakness in men that blinds the innocent lambs to the way of the flesh. Oh, oh. And only a woman knows that warm, aching feeling deep inside. Am I right? Oh. And she'll do anything to get rid of it. You can do it for her. That's why she's here. She's in cahoots with Billy. Are you okay, Lip? They're in this together to get back at me. As long as I live, until the day I die, I will never know what happened. I wanted boys. Innocent. Baby boys. <laughs> Are you 
Oh, Kayla. Feel my heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. It beats slow. Very, very slow. It beats like that because it's a mother's heart. It beats different than her heart. Did you know that? No. Do you know why it beats different? Because her heart beats with passion and not love. Her heart is full of desire. <laughs> and that's why it beats wild and fast. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I guess so. Felt another woman's heartbeat? No. Would you like to? Would you like to do it? I can. I want you to know what the heartbeat of a viper sounds like. Oh. Trust me. It's okay. Just touch her where her heart is. There. Can you feel it? Do you know what I'm talking about now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. There's nothing you can do about it. It's a weakness and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's why God gave you a mother to watch over and protect you. Now you go on outside like you were gonna and check on them hives. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure you are. Go on, get out. Father ten of them hives. There ain't no more bees. Just some dried out old combs. But he just keeps checking them. Like he thinks they're still there. I do not understand that boy no more. 
I think he must be crazy. Where's Billy? <coughs> What? <coughs> she went into town. Well, that, that's not like Billy to run off and leave the cafe w with nobody to run it. And how did she get there? Me and White had the truck. I let her in my car. Will you please untie me? I wonder who she went to see. She went to find you! Now, oh, damn it, untie me! That's Billy's problem. She ain't ever there when I need her. out, that's all. She what? She does this when the bottle goes dry. Just passed out like that? Yep. That happened when, I, when we were coming home from church. She drove right off in the Bugs Creek, broke her arm, and punched Jessie's head right through the window. Where are you taking her? To bed. Shouldn't you call a doctor? I'm sorry I screamed like that. For a minute, for a minute there, I, I thought, I thought she was, she was. You want some tea? No. No, thank you. How about some pie? Please take these ropes off me. I can't. Why not? When Let wants to let you go, but she'll say so. <sighs> what she said before about me? You don't really believe that, do you? I guess not. And, and what happened? It wasn't your fault. It wasn't that fault either. It wasn't anybody's fault. Yeah, things like that happen. But now it's all done and over and everybody's friends. We are friends. Aren't we? I guess so. We should trust each other. Shouldn't we? I'll untie you and let Seth so. What about your father? What is he going to think when he comes home and, and finds me like this? He don't care what we do. He don't care about nothing except them hives. But it ain't my fault that got foul brewed. Even that said so. The combs got all black and started stinking like a dead animal. And when the wind shifted, I could smell them coming through my window. 
And I could hear them bees popping at the screen trying to get in. But I could hear Lex screaming. I wanted to tell him about the bees, but I, I couldn't move my legs. Like, like I was asleep, but I could still see. Then I must have fallen asleep, because all I remember was sound the hailstones coming down on the roof. It's so loud I couldn't hear myself think. By the time I got out there, the cones was all busted up. I was scared they was gonna swarm, but they too sick. They just laid there in little piles, drowning in the mud. So I picked them up, put them back in the boxes, but after a while, my hands were getting numb from all the stings. The ones that were still alive, I could feel them moving around on me. And I could smell the rotten, stinking wax. But it wasn't my fault. Even that said so. I want to talk to your father. You want to see my skill hole? He dug it in case of tornadoes. But we don't get many tornadoes in Arizona. They're mostly in places like Texas. Where is he? He's here. He's here. Now? He was lost in the desert a long time. But then they found him in brought him back. What are you talking about? Who found him? I can't remember. I think maybe it was the Indian. Nothing honest, Jesse. We weren't doing nothing. We was just talking about things. But I didn't tell her nothing. Just talking about what? Nothing important, just this thing. Come on, Jesse. Cut the boy a little slack. He's just having himself some fun. What'd you catch there? He's cute, Jesse. What's his name? How about a cowboy? What's your name? Wyatt. What did he say? What? His name's Wyatt. I knew a boy in junior high named Wyatt. Used to call him Harry High Pants because he wore his pants so high. <laughs> Honey, is this some sort of game you and the cowboy play on a regular basis? This isn't what you think. I, I don't even know this boy. Well, you're planning on getting to know him a whole lot better, weren't you? I'm married. My husband's a minister. Did your brother always tie up the customers, Jesse? Why don't you ask him? Well, what about it? <laughs> Let made me do it. His let? Oh, do you remember the time that cowboy tied me up? <laughs> I met this shit kicker at a rodeo dance. Had my eye on him all night waiting for him to make his move, you know, shifting my pose, pretending not to notice all that. <laughs> about to give up. He comes stumbling over like he's checking out flies on the ceiling or something and asks me if I want to ride his horse. <laughs> tell him what you said. Go on, tell him. It was funny, really was. I looked him straight in the eye and I told him I only ride bare back. <laughs> well, before you could spit, the two of us were rolling around some hay bales on the rodeo grounds. And that is when he said that he wanted to throw some rope on me. What kind of rope? I don't know. Who the hell cares? <laughs> now, this really is the best part. OK, so the next thing I know, he saddles up this pony and he locks me in one of the chutes. Now, I'm thinking the whole thing is weird, but he made it sound like so much fun, you know. He really got me going. 
So, when the chute broke open, there I was, like some dumb old calf, running with the wind of my bare butt. <laughs> I hit the dirt so hard, I almost broke my hip. And the next thing I knew, my legs and arms were in a pig and string. Well, you know, it only stands to reason that you brand a calf after you catch it. And since the only brand and iron I was counting on was hanging between that cowboy's legs, I figured that the best was yet to come, right? Mm -hmm. Wrong! <laughs> brain-damaged asshole rode around the arena like he just won all around cowboy, you know? Then him and the goddamn horse <laughs> took off and leapt over a fence and disappeared into the night. It took me damn near an hour to get out of those ropes. <laughs> almost froze my ass off. <laughs> Where's Billy? I lent her my car to go into town. <clears throat> Who's Billy? Where's Liv? She's here. These ropes are cutting off my circulation. My arms are going numb. So what? So I want to be untied. You're just gonna have to sit there until I figure out what the hell's going on. Nothing's going on, Jesse. I swear we was just talking. I didn't say nothing. What the hell is that gun doing on the table, huh? Let at it. Well, didn't I tell you not to let her play with it, huh? <laughs> nothing happens that let drink too much and passed out. So I put it in bed like you told me to. You touch her. No. You touch her. <laughs> you touch her. No, he's just talking about things. That's all. About the house, maybe? <laughs> huh? Maybe I should untie you, you want me to do that? No. Cowboys in that bar. You gotta pick the one with the burr up his ass. I thought he looked cute. <sighs> Would you please untie these ropes? They really are starting to hurt, honey. I'm just here. I won't leave. I can't. My car's not even here. Listen, I'll tell you what I will do, okay? When Jesse comes back, I will ask him to untie you. It's my daddy's. Please don't point that at me. And it could go off. Leroy used to have one like this. You remember that gun he had? I don't think so. We used to live near the state work farm in Safford. He kept one in case a prisoner escaped. I don't remember him having a gun in the house. Sure you do. He got it after he saw that movie about them prisoners that escaped and killed that family in Kansas. What movie? You know. That scared the shit out of me. Do you like movies? How about porn apps? I saw one once with this guy, Scooter Hobbs, and Christ almighty, was it something. <laughs> this girl was taken on three at the same damn time. One in her mouth, one in her snatch, and one up her name and address. <laughs> I remember that gun now. Didn't he shoot someone in the leg one time by accident? Shot himself in the leg that time he got drunk at the JC dance. <laughs> I remember all that now. Say. Hey. Where's your hubby, anyway? How come he ain't with you? He's in Texas. On a crusade. 
You got kids? <gasps> Not having kids is smart. That way you keep your shape. Men got a funny way of losing interest once a woman's tits start to hang. I've seen it plenty of times with my friends, you know. She's got big, firm tits. He wouldn't do that. <clears throat> Honey, don't kid yourself. Well, at least this way you still got your figure. Take your hair, for instance. Oh, honey, it feels like straw. What do you want? Fine eyes. Have you ever did something with them? Don't got no bone structure at all. My sister doesn't do you, Bevers. Not that you would notice. How? Woman's best friend is her makeup. You know, that's what I do. First thing every morning is I set myself an image, you know? No image, no attitude. And believe me, that is what the boys are looking for. Attitude and firm tips. You know, a little eyeshadow, some lipstick. You could be a hell of a heartbreaker. Ain't that right, Jesse? Cowboy's got a hell of a way with words, ain't he? What do you say, Jesse? What do you say we unloosen these ropes around her before she freaks out? No. Come on, it ain't right. Besides, she seems harmless enough to me. I said no. Sorry, honey, I tried. You can't do this. It's my house. I can do anything I want in my house. They got some good old music on that juke. Now that is a good idea. Let's play some music. Who lets us sleep? I thought you said she passed out. She is. Well, then what the hell? She won't know the difference. If she wakes up, we'll turn it off. But your brother promised us a party, and a party just ain't a party without some music. Come on, cowboy. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And from the looks of things, this might be the only chance you ever get. What is the matter? Don't you like us? I, I like you a lot. Well, then fire up the jukebox. I ain't got any quarters. No. You don't have to have quarters. Because I rigged it so I can listen to it anytime I want before you. Good night, Jesse. Well, ain't that ingenious? Come on, before it fails. <laughs> Pack up our fannies and pep for greener pastures. Come on, baby. Come on. Now, why don't that surprise me? Come on. Come on, honey. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Baby, <laughs> You know, if you try dancing a little bit more on the floor and less on my feet, I think that we both might have a good time. <laughs> Over. Who are you talking to? You and your brain dead sister. What did you just say? Get out. Well, you son of a bitch. Th they weren't doing nothing. It's just trying to have a good time. You know what? Forget it, cowboy, because I think that your brother has found himself some new plans. Get out! Come on, Caroline. I'm getting the creeps. We're going. Don't leave me here! Let's go. You should have had a pick up there. Maybe you can come back tomorrow. And we can dance some more. I wouldn't hold my breath. Hey, thanks a heap, stud. It was a ball. Take care, honey. Please! Please don't go, please! You can't just leave me here. Please come back! Give me a scare No. I'm not going to ask you again. What? 
everything in there. So I tell you. Billy's gonna be home soon. Billy's gonna be home soon. Our friend the sheriff is coming back. Our friend the sheriff is coming back. Stop copying me. What are you doing? Staring at the back of your head. Does it bother you? It's making me nervous. You just stand in there. I'm hungry. I bet you're hungry now. No, no. Not really. You look hungry to me. Actually, my, my stomach feels a little queasy. You know, when we were kids, my dad made us eat everything. Whether we liked it or not. He never was much of a cook. I mean, I didn't know what good food was until I joined the army. I remember one Sunday supper. He slapped this mess in front of me. I told him, I said, oh, I'm not gonna eat that. And for a minute, I thought I got away with it. And then a fit of anger came across him and he hit me square in the mouth. I shattered three of my teeth. Myself. With the blood in my mouth, I just gagged. And I, just, I puked all over my plate. But he didn't care. He just mixed it all together. And made me eat every last drop. Next up, tells all kinds of stories that just ain't right. Is that what he was doing tonight? He was. Swapping secrets. Telling you all kinds of crazy things about us. That's not what we were doing. You sure? I swear to you. What happened to your hand? Piece of glass. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? That's my purse. Yeah, I could have figured that out all by myself. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna find out who you really are. <laughs> that purse is my private property.
Don't you know when you go into someone's house, sir, you, you have to act polite? Didn't anyone ever teach you that? Turn around. Turn around. Turn around! There's two kinds of people who travel the desert. Those on the run, those up to no good. I stopped by Rio Station this evening, and we got to talking. He told me some stranger come around, snooping, asking all kinds of questions about the cafe and the people who own it. I got to wonder, I said. Who could that be? He said it was a lady with auburn hair. Just like you. You're wasting your time with Wyatt. He's just a mixed up boy. If you want to swap secrets. I'm your man. I don't know what you're talking about. I never asked any questions. I, I never stopped at a gas station. As soon as your sister gets back with my car, I'm leaving. I swear it. What makes you think Billy ain't God knows where by now? Hmm? She don't give a hoot now about this place. She's always been dreaming about ways to get out of here. Ever since she was a little girl, she'd sit by the highway. That bitch was right. You don't look half bad with a little color. No. <coughs> Blue. Mm. <laughs> Please don't do that. Why not? You scare me. Ain't nothing to be scared of, huh? Ooh, tell me something. What's it like to be married to a man in a car, huh? A man like that able to take care of a woman like you? You seem like the kind of woman he needs more than that kind of man can handle, huh? Is that what you're doing? You looking for something different? Candy! You had something different. Just one time? Just one time? But you thought about it now, ain't you? You like to dance. You just blow it on the dance floor. Huh? <laughs> Man, don't dress like that. But there's just a body that's made for dancing there. <laughs>
my cake. You have to let me in. God damn it. Why is going to kill me? Oh, God. I heard the sheriff say that you don't be in trouble if this happens again. You know what he was talking about, don't you? Please, Your sister's going to be really, really mad if you don't help me. Please, why? Why? Please, please. questions all around town. Please give me the knife before you hurt someone. She's got money. She got a lot of money. We can take it. And we can go. We can get out of here like you always wanted. And go where? Where would we go? Let's get on the Greyhound, Billy. We could just go. And what happens when it's gone? Well, what's gone? The money, you fucking dumbass. What happens when it's gone, when it's run out? It's not going to run out. We can buy a farm. We can, we can, we can play a show of peace. Please give me the goddamn knife, Jesse. No. She knows about the money. <laughs> To disappear. No, you're out of your mind. Why not? Other people do it all the time. She knows what we did, Billy. Then do it, you chicken shit. No, no. Do you think that we can just crawl out of here by splattering her blood all over the desert? Then be my guest. Go on, no. Do it! I'm feeling so fucking easy. Then why don't you show me the guts that you didn't have that night? Do it! Shut up! Do it! Shut up. Fucking do it! Do it! Do it! Shut up! Do it! Shut up! Do it! Do it! Shut up! Do it! It wasn't my fault! I couldn't stop him! We should all be boys! But you had to come along and fuck it all up! I want to get out of here before he changes his mind and comes back. No, did I promise? I promise. It's okay. Why, why don't you just go out and go to bed? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Charlie. You're Anna Meyer's girl, aren't you? I couldn't put my finger on it until I saw her name on the registration in the car. You look a lot like her. You knew my mother. Everybody knew her. She was my father's whore. No offense. It's okay. It's not like we were close. Fact is, I didn't, I didn't know she existed till three weeks ago. Vegas lawyer tracked me down through the orphanage. She died last April. Left me her car, money, and a letter. After all this time, I find out who my parents are in a three-page letter from a dead woman. Strange, don't you think? What do you want? I'm not sure. After I read the letter, I started thinking about him, whether he was still alive or not. If he still lived where, where she said he lived. The whole way here, I kept wondering what it was gonna be like. How I was gonna react to him. What his family was like. <laughs> what I said before, I meant it. I promise I won't tell anyone. But I want to know what happened. Some things are better left alone. Please. And then I swear I will never bother you again. It happened on the night of my 12th birthday. I was wearing this nightgown that Lett got me. It was yellow with some little daisies down the front. She had left Jesse and I to go look for my father. I came stumbling home around midnight. Drunker than usual. I still remember the sweet smell of whiskey. The tobacco that he used to chew. Nobody didn't care my damn eye. There was a musky odor. Rainwater sweat and a woman's cheap perfume. They used to fight about that. Just leave him be. He was crashing around in the dark. I hear like a crazy man. No. Knocking things over and cursing up a Blue streak about his damn beehives. My arms, my goddamn arms. I thought he might hurt himself. So I came out to help him. And that's when he turned on me. He was so far gone, he did not know it was me. But there was a look in his eye that I had never seen before. And it was so dark. And everything was moving in slow motion. He's 
said get in the goddamn cell! Get in the hall before I do some damage, boy! My father used to make us go to the scare hole for punishment. He made Jesse go there that night. Sometimes I think maybe that he was hurt more than any of us. Because over the years he just went cold and empty. Like something just sucked the life right out of him. The ringing in my ears was so loud. I didn't even hear the gun go off. I just felt something warm running down my neck. And when he rolled off of me, I saw the blood coming out of a hole in the back of his head. And then Lent did the strangest thing. She walked up to the cage we had the armadillo in. And she emptied the rest of the gun into it. Jesse and I buried him out in the dunes. We just told everybody that he ran off. And nobody suspected or cared one way or the other. It wasn't until years later Indian found an arm sticking out of the sand. And he knew that Lett was looking for attractions. So he brought it here. She paid a hundred dollars for it. I'm sorry. Don't be. Curses like chickens. Come home to roost. live with it. I can't change anything. You could leave if you wanted to. That road outside goes forever in both directions. They're my family. No. No. You're not like her. Your brothers. Brother. Jesse's my brother. Wyatt's my son. Besides, where would I go? Every place is the same. It's just lonely people living tired lives, trying to dream a little. And sooner or later, they all die. It's all the same. No. No. I don't believe that. Good for you. Would you mind if I wrote you every once in a while? Suit yourself. Would you mind if I told people I had a sister?
You all right? I will be as soon as my head stops pounding. It wouldn't pound if you didn't go out drinking. What time is it? It's a little after two. What day is it? June 21st. It's your Aunt Tess's birthday. I don't have an Aunt Tess. No, sure you do. She she lived on the boardwalk in Galveston. Mm, that woman with the lizard on a string used to crawl up around her shoulder. That's the one. Yeah, I thought her name was Greta. Mm, she was a taxi dancer. Her stage name was Greta. She only came out here to visit once, and then she never came back. I wonder what happened to that lizard. Jesse fed it to the armadillo. You don't remember that? Would you tell that jackass to turn off those lights? It's bad for business. You relax. I had a dream tonight. I dreamed that Jessie was fighting with the angel of death. And she was holding the armadillo in her arms. And it was biting her neck. And the more bitter the tighter she squeezed until I got a gun and shot it dead. It was just a dream. It was just a bad dream. Where are you off to at this time of night? I don't know. Somewhere. He's got himself a wife. I know, but... She's pretty. I've seen her. She's better looking than you are. So what? Well, so? I think you should know so you don't get your hopes up. I don't have any hopes. everybody. Where's Jesse? Out somewhere. He hasn't run off, has he? He's he's not in trouble again, He's not is in he? trouble. He'll be back whenever he feels like it. What about Wyatt? He's asleep in his room. He's not as strong as he should be. The older he gets, the more I have to watch over him. I think he's soft in the melon. He's stronger than you think. Maybe. Good night. What about your father? Turn the damn lights off. Nothing. What do you want to do? Just take me someplace. And tell me you love me.
see it in their eyes. It's in their blood. Trouble falls in around like a stray dog. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you.